Well, to arm qualified teachers who train and are approved by school districts to carry a concealed handgun is moving through the state legislature. Supporters call it a deterrent, but along the way, it's certainly stirring up opponents at the Capitol. Peyton Kennedy is here to explain the action that will happen today. Yeah, Neil, this morning, family members and supporters tied to the Covenant School are continuing to voice their opposition to this. They are gathering once again and speaking about the potential dangers the bill could create as we wait to hear if it will receive its final votes this week. One Covenant mother wrote an open letter to legislators expressing concerns, including fear of the firearm accidentally landing in the wrong hands and a lack of confidence that 40 hours of required training is enough. More parents are asking for others to sign on to that letter. It also notes that both the FBI and the National Association of School Resource Officers do not support arming individuals with direct student responsibility. I frankly think that is extremely irresponsible of our legislators to not consider um, real world scenarios when arming teachers and what they will actually face in the light of danger. All of this feels like a band-aid to a, a bigger problem and why we can't seem to sit down and come up with some legislation that we can all agree on that is reasonable that will prevent the problem versus reacting to the problem is, is ultimately what none of us are understanding. Those in favor of the legislation say it's a better way to protect students, especially in areas with longer police response times or where there's a struggle to fill SRO positions.